Did you hear the one about the German minister who threatened to put in place an indefinite driving ban at weekends? No, <laughs> it's not a joke. I wish it was, but seriously, it's not. Admittedly, it is in Germany, but it's another little ditty that the mainstream media aren't reporting on. I couldn't find much information on this one at all, but what I have found, I'll run through with you now. Now, the ruling coalition in Germany have been fighting over legislation that sets out binding climate targets. Now, this could happen in all countries across the world, not just Germany, not just the UK, the USA, everywhere. This could impact everybody. The German transport minister has threatened to put in place an indefinite and complete driving ban at weekends if Germany doesn't meet its climate goals. And the ruling coalition in Germany doesn't pass reforms to the Climate Act by July. And it certainly sounds like a little bit of blackmail or extortion, to me at least it does anyway. Why is it that governments and the powers that be always seem to pass new laws and regulations regardless of the impact it has on ordinary people, what they want and what they need? I mean, for God's sake, how in the hell can a weekend driving ban ever be a good idea? Imagine a day like today when the sun's out, there's not a cloud in the sky, you got your car, the top's down, you want to go for a drive down the beach, you want to go and drive through town. You wouldn't be able to do that. At any time, you wouldn't be able to do that at all if this came into force. Now, German politician Volker Wissing, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, other on second thoughts, I don't care, has stated that reducing traffic to meet climate targets would only be possible through difficult and comprehensive measures such as a ban completely on driving on Saturdays and Sundays. No doubt it wouldn't include the government or any of the elite that are out there. They'd probably still be able to enjoy themselves in their flash cars on a Saturday and Sunday, while us lot, the little people, would be stuck in the house, unable to go anywhere at all. Now, the planned amendment, the emission reduction law, allows the goals to be reviewed for compliance. If the overall target is missed two years in a row, the German federal government will decide in which sector and with what measures the total permitted amount of carbon dioxide emissions will be achieved by 2030. Under the proposal, this could mean weekend driving bans by 2030. They want to restrict your ability to travel and your freedom to drive. But wait, there's better ways to restrict carbon emissions and vehicle emissions in Germany. Over there in Germany, they have autobahns, which are freeways, highways or motorways, depending on where you live, that have unrestricted speed limits in certain areas. If they reduced the speed limit on the autobahns and brought it down a bit, surely that would go a long way towards reducing some of the carbon emissions or some of the carbon dioxide emissions coming out of the tailpipes of cars. Just a thought. Now, if you're watching over there in the USA, your constitution gives you the right to travel. But during the pandemic, state and local officials told you all to stay at home, banning your ability to drive and revoking your right to travel. If the various governments across the world call for a climate emergency, does that mean we'll all be banned from driving at weekends? In the USA, would they try and revoke your constitutional right to travel and therefore stop you driving anywhere? In the UK, could they stop us driving anything on certain days or at weekends? or for as long as they wanted, which is probably more likely over here in the UK because they don't want to do anything and have any fun at all. As always, I appreciate your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you down there. And if you haven't seen me other two videos on these subjects, then what you need to do now